up guys world travel nerd here coming back to you after a little bit of a break uh, i've been dealing with some sickness and stuff going around i uh, just haven't felt myself for about two weeks or so took some time off from instagram from youtube everything so i wanted to get back with you guys today get, start doing some catch up uh, i got a couple different things coming to you guys this week i'm <clears throat> gonna be dropping a video about my all-star lineup team which is a response to I uh, got. I forgot whose channel it is. They're doing a uh, a uh, top team contest. I have to look up who was doing it again. I forgot. But for today, I'm gonna do some unboxings for you guys. So I'll start off with this massive beast from my boy Ben City Comics. I uh, got this in the middle there. Remember to always cut toward you. Oh, but starting off today with this guys. Uh. I know most of this comes from his last sale. I can't remember what I bought from him exactly, but looking forward to seeing. I know there's some Green Lantern in here, which is what I'm most excited about. Huge Green Lantern fan. Oh, man. Uh, Pot Size Heroes. Got some Green Lantern. I guess they're not really fun codes, but that's cool. Sinestro and Hal Jordan. I know exactly where that's going on my collection, man. We've got one. We've got two. We've got three packages of comics in here. Awesome. Can't wait to see what's in there. Uh, so, got a lot to go through, so not drag it out for too long. Let's get the ball rolling. Okay, starting with package number one. So, if I can rip through the plastic. Also working with a collaboration with a video, another collaboration with JC Comics and Collectibles, a.k.a. Uh, John DeCon here on YouTube. Exploding Pages of Optimus, Ben City, and uh, Johnny O. Uh, we're going to be doing a confirmation video. We're talking about who would be our superhero, Mount Rushmore, uh, for DC, for Marvel, overall, as well as some other stuff we got coming up. Anyway, without further ado... We've got Green Lantern, 100-page Super Spectacular. Awesome cover. Got the original OG Green Lantern on there. Got Gardner. Everybody, every, every Lantern's on there. All right. We've got Green Lantern Ganthet's Tell. Another trade paperback style book. Sweet. We've got The Cosmic Odyssey. Book One Discovery. That looks pretty cool. We've got Red Lantern number one. I absolutely love the Red Lanterns, and I love God Gardner as a Red Lantern. We've got Sinestro number one. We've got Blackest Knot number zero. Some awesome Lantern stuff. And Justice League Society number 49. Got all the uh, awesome silver golden age DC characters on there. All right, that's package number one. Popping into number two. All right, let's start this one off with Uncanny Origins featuring Archangel number three. Sweet. Uncanny Origins featuring Quicksilver. Uncanny Origins number one featuring Cyclops. Uncanny Origins number seven featuring Venom. Uncanny Origins number eight featuring Nightcrawler, one of my favorite X Men, holding his legendary Scalper. We got Green Lantern Blackest Knot number 49. Green Lantern Sinestro Corps number one, The Secret Files. Awesome cover. We've got Ion, Guardian of the Universe, number one. And Ion, number one. Sweet. Some more Green Lantern goodness. And he has a lot more that I can't wait to uh, purchase once the holidays are past and I have the money. Uh, Green Lanterns are something about always buying and collecting. Ooh, these are wrapped up a little more securely. They're also in a Gemini, so I'm guessing this is... Glad we waited for last on this one. I'm guessing this is the uh, winners of the lot. Let's see what's hiding in here. All right. 
come out of the gate swinging here. See what we get. Break the tape on all these. All right, we're gonna go this way. I feel this is the best way. We've got replica aftershock number two. <clears throat> Interesting cover. Never seen that. We've got the secret history book seventeen. We've got Aquaman number fifteen. We've got Wolverine number fifty. We've got Hunt number twenty one. And absolutely beautiful. We have a Vampirilla Virgin variant cover. Awesome. Love Vampirilla. Love the art. All right. Next up, shout him out down below as well. Ben City will also be linked and hit back at this section. Next up is my boy John DeCon, aka JC's Comic Books and Collectibles. Can't remember what I bought from him either. Also, guys, if you're enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what your favorite book is from today's haul. And let me know some future content you guys would like to see, what we can do differently, what we can do to improve. We are still new here. We're still learning. Uh, we are far from doing great things here. We're just learning and doing our best and <clears throat> seeing what happens. All right. First off, we have The Man Who Effed Up Time, number one. Cool. Never heard of that, but interesting. We've got Turtles, J Janaka, number one. We've got Godzilla in Hell, number one. That is awesome, by IDW. We've got Spawn 311, the Chadwick Boseman tribute cover. Oh, and we've got Spawn 300, a uh, sketch cover done by one of our community members. I actually have a wall I'm starting of sketch covers. I'm stoked to have that. And then I picked these up just because of one of my favorite characters. He is, fun, uh, ironically and uh, funnily, picking up steam right now for some reason. As, but we got Sleepwalker 1, 2, 3... And five. Also, for y'all who don't know, if you look in the webbing on number five, it says, I give up. Nice little original Easter egg there. All right. Last but not least, I've got a, <coughs> excuse me, I have a box from Ben Parker Comics. I do not remember buying anything from Ben, strangely enough. So I'm definitely interested to see what this is. All right. What have we got from Ben Parker? First off, it's in a box, Tiro's box. I have a I Feel Like Peter box over here from my spider bin. And they're a box from Box Tiro's. So I'll actually uh, peel the tape off this carefully and add it to the collection. Stack of books. Let's see what they are. Curious. But like I said, I don't remember buying anything from them. But always happy to have an excuse to open some new comics. Plus, it'll surprise me because I don't remember what they are. Oh man, this is an A-OK -okay from Ben. Got another attached here on this side. It says, hey Jacob, I know you haven't been feeling well lately. And you have a lot going on in life right now. Just wanted to bring some joy to your day. Enjoy, Ben. Man, Ben, dude, I appreciate that very much, man. That's, that's awesome. Uh, this will be, I think, my... Second or third AOK. -okay. My first AOK -okay in the community was from Gamma Freak. Uh, man, Ben, thanks so much, man. 
Uh, if you guys don't follow Ben Parker Comics, man, super great dude. Uh, one of my favorite members of the community, with all due respect to any of my other friends in the community. Just an all-around super good guy. Uh, also went through a hard time recently. Uh, community stuck stuck out for him. And uh, did their best to help him through some hard times. And uh, guys, that's what this community is all about. is just taking care of each other, having each other's backs, and uh, trying to promote a good attitude and positive growth and stuff in the community. So, with that said... We've got Venom Lethal Protector number two. I know that cover. I believe that's the first appearance of, uh, sh uh not sh yeah, Shriek. Not Shriek. Uh, tell me the female symbiote's name in the comments below. I forgot the yellow one and the red one. Spider Geddon number zero. Uh, that's awesome. Love that cover. I had the uh, Gamerverse version of that from the Walmart box. I've never seen the actual cover. That's better. We got Darker Image number one. That's cool. Got the Max on there. We've got Web of Venom Wraith, number one. Definitely cool. We've got Negan Liz, second print. I don't know how the prints work with this, which ones are good and which ones aren't, but that's awesome either way. I don't have it. Oh, this, this, this speaks to my inner child and my time growing up through middle school and high school. Uh, Invader Zim, number one. That will be cherished. I'm going to amaze a Spider-Man 45. Looks like Sin Eater up there on the top corner. Maybe a flashback story to him. we got Spider-Man number one by J.J. Abrams from his run. Awesome cover art on that. We've got We Only Find Them When They're Dead number one by Boom Comics. That is a cool variant looking cover. We have, <coughs> excuse me, the Doctor Strange, Alex Ross, Timeless cover. We have the classic Iron Man, Timeless cover. And we have Uncanny X-Men number 160. Nice Bronze Age 60 center. Should be about 1982. Uh, yeah, 1982. Um, pretty good clean, too, especially for a new stand. Uh, a little bit of spine teams, a little bit of an edge roll, but probably... Uh, a little bit of discoloration on the box. Still probably a 7075 without a press and a clean. Awesome book. Can't remember if that's a key or not, but either way, it'll be going in my classic X-Men line, and I very much appreciate it. Ben, thanks so much, man. That's that's awesome. I was not expecting that at all. <clears throat> Definitely makes... Uh, that, that'll be my Christmas present, because probably getting nothing else this year. But, uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's the haul for today, guys. Should have a bunch more stuff com coming in this week. Uh, I got a couple more videos I'm going to work on the next few days for you. I still have a few more days before I'm allowed to go back to work. Uh, so, still got a few days off to enjoy and relax and catch up on some stuff. So, we'll be hitting you guys with some more videos. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, let me know. Uh, which of the three boxes was your favorite and which book was your favorite out of the pool or which ones you liked uh, or if it was the uh, toy. Uh, it's definitely in my top ten, if nothing else, because for y'all who don't know, I'm a huge, huge Green Lantern fan. A huge Green Lantern fan. Uh, and my top five favorite superheroes and stories to read. So, as always, guys, don't forget to get out there. Uh, explore to the best of your capabilities in this nice COVID 2020 environment we live in. Get out there, explore, find some new places. Get out there and do some world traveling. Uh, don't forget to nerd out while you're doing that. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep rocking. See you guys next time.